Is everything set up? Yep. Everything's wired up and ready to go. Where is everyone? Did you send them an SMS already? First of all, stop saying SMS. Second of all, yes, everyone's already on their way here. I guess this is it. Thank you. Now can we start? Three, two... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode two of Radio Static. Is what we would have said if we weren't facing the existing issues. It's no secret that the channel has been through a lot of controversy, not to mention the rebranding. And let's just say that a lot of people ended up turning on us in the process. A lot of artists were included in that list, which put us in a difficult situation to say the least. Multiple pages were filled with art, waiting to get used for the second episode. Though we do have to admit that the same art is now labeled unusable due to the controversies we had to face. Let me put it in simple terms. A lot of people that sent us their art no longer support us. And we don't want to use the art of someone that is no longer a supporter, let alone hates us. And let's be honest, they probably have El Riz anyway. A bunch of No Sigma having poggers. This has nothing to do with giving credit, by the way. One way or another, we give credit to people whose art we end up using. As a matter of fact, we actively request and encourage that you sign the art and tell us if there's anything you want us to shout out or promote. Indeed, we simply request that the art is actually made by you. Getting into more trouble is something we try to avoid at a great deal. Now, you might be wondering a couple of things. Number one, if we're avoiding using old art sent by fans that no longer support us, then what's that on the screen? Well, the art that you're seeing on the screen right now is actually made by one of our head artists and designers. Shout out to my homegirl Squigglybox. She a real one. Anyway, the second question you might have is, where do we send the new art? Or what about all the people that sent the art and still support the channel? Hellshotspot666 at gmail.com. Exactly. We made a brand new Gmail where you can resend all of your art, not to mention all the new fans that want to send their hard work as well. It almost feels like a traditional event and we would feel horrible not to include it for the second episode. So if you want to make radio static art that's similar to the one you're seeing right now, feel free to send it to our great mail, along with your trick truck, few tube, or any link that we can use to give you your well-deserved credit. You do realize that the G in Gmail doesn't stand for great, right? In that case, would you mind sharing with me what the G in Gmail stands for? It's, uh, it stands for, uh, I, uh... Anyway... The second episode of our amazing podcast is currently under production, not to mention the unethical life hacks, shower thoughts, and some new projects that we're planning to film. By the way, if you just so happen to be a Patreon member, you've probably both heard and seen all the upcoming content. We are more than happy to say that we're beginning to see the numbers climbing once more. Let it be the scrub scriber count on all of our three channels, or the number of supporters on our Paint Me On. It's Patreon. And by the way, we started investing even more money into the team, hiring editors to help us run all the channels, not to mention the efficiency that you're going to start seeing very soon. So what are you waiting for? All the links are going to be in the description. Freaky fan art, radio static art, everything in between, send it all. The email is also going to be linked in the description. And just in case you already sent us some art, send it again on the new Gmail and we'll be sure to respond. And we will see you all in the second episode.